A multi-agency resource center is now available in Round Rock to help homeowners as they work through the damage from Monday's devastating tornadoes. One organization involved is the Austin Disaster Relief Network. This morning, Daniel Jirasi, executive director of Austin Disaster Relief Network, joins us this morning to talk a little bit more about it. Good morning, Daniel. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Leslie. Thanks for having us on. Hello, Daniel. Can you hear us? We can hear you. Oh, yes. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. So tell us a little bit about um, the help that y'all are giving homeowners. What has the network really been able to do so far? Well, so far to date, uh, a lot of uh, day one and day two is the organization behind a big disaster like this. And uh, so we've been able to connect with partners like Samaritan's Purse, uh, like uh, UMCOR Disaster Response, Baptist Men and others to begin giving them the vital information that they need about homeowners and who needs tarps and who needs mucking out. We've been able to get that piece going also along with planning the uh, the multi-agency resource center here over the last few days. Uh, we're also coordinating along with the city of Round Rock and meeting immediate needs that they have. And we have our call center that's been taking calls of survivors uh, since day one of, of the actual disaster itself. So there's a lot of activities going on, a lot of prep work to be ready for this particular day today so we can assist uh, families in need. Yeah, absolutely. Daniel, of course, you and your organization are no strangers to this type of work. What are you finding that people are needing the most, specifically for what happened Monday? Well, uh, number one, I, it, because we're a, a Christian organization, you know, I, I see a lot of people needing the emotional and spiritual care right now the most, just to hug the, the prayers behind them. Uh, when you go through something like this and experience it where you, you don't know if you're going to live or not through it, that really shakes a person. And uh, and so they really need us at this time to listen to their story, allow them to process through that, which is ultimately what we're going to do today to begin helping them come out of that trauma because it produces trauma. The next thing that they need is they need a helping hand. And what one of our focuses today is pairing them up with members of of the network that we have that are part of the churches in what we call shepherds and so that way these people would be able to walk with them uh, in this very intense time when you've lost a lot of things and and help them get back on their feet uh, until they uh, feel like they can do life again and so right. the shepherd support program that we do is one of the best programs i think uh, the network offers because it really pairs a clear-minded, loving family or person with a survivor that just uh, needs someone to help them walk through the whole process. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I love that you mentioned faith and spirituality because I think it's important. You know, I, we've been living through such a traumatic time through the pandemic, then last yeah. uh, year's winter storms, now this. Now, for folks who are watching and, and want this help, need some of this help, how can they do that? What, what exactly do they need? Great question. So we're asking everyone that comes to the multi-agency resource center here at the Dell Diamonds United Heritage Conference Center. Uh, we're asking them to bring a photo ID recent. It has to be a current photo ID plus a current bill. So that way we could just prove and make sure uh, that they are who they are and they live where they live. Uh, we have a list of every home damaged and impacted in the greater Round Rock area and beyond. Uh, and so we just want to be able to help them without any questions. And so yeah. all they need to do is come here either Thursday, Friday or Saturday. Uh, no special day. We gave them uh, three days, uh, Thursday from 10 to 6, uh, Friday 10 to 6 and Saturday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And uh, we're going to have many agencies here besides ourselves, great agencies that offer assistance in many ways. And so we're going to love on them and try to be, begin that uh, walk with them to get them back on their feet. Yeah, absolutely. Dino, before I let you go, do you offer services in Spanish? And what if uh, some of these important documents have gotten lost in the tornadoes? What can people do then? Yeah, uh, you know, we, we had a, the Texas Spanish Academy come up to us and said, hey, do you need some help uh, with Spanish translation? So I know we have volunteers and we have some extra help like from this great group. Uh, so yes, we'll, we'll be able to handle anyone there that uh, doesn't speak English. 
Plus, in regards to those docs, good news is that we have digital, uh, the capability going online and calling those, uh, maybe our utility companies and asking them to email us a bill. Uh, so that would be my recommendation. Try the best you can with what you have. Uh, also, you could take pictures of your home address. If there's anything that would prove that that is your home, that's really what we're looking for. But but uh, current is key. Uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, in, in this time of day, we do have some folks that uh, don't belong <laughs> at the uh, resource centers that they come. And uh, so it's just to help us, you know, uh, keep all the funds that hardworking people are giving us uh, and giving them to the people that need it most. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, important work you're doing. And of course, unfortunately, there are scammers out there. So thanks yes. for uh, helping out our community. If you want some more information, ADRN.org. We appreciate your time this morning, Daniel. We'll be right back on Good Day.